Gymnastics can be a dangerous sport. Performing twists, jumps, somersaults, and landings can cause serious issues if they go wrong. Although the gymnasts are trained very well before performing the skills professionally, anything can be done at any time. This can even lead to the death of the gymnast. Because of the safety concerns of gymnasts, there are various skills that are banned in the sport. These skills caused serious damage in the past, which is why they are no longer allowed to be performed professionally. In this video, we will look at five such dangerous skills that were performed by gymnasts but later got banned. Let's have a look. 1. Corbett Flip This iconic skill was named after Olga Corbett, who is not only liked by longtime fans, but also by newcomers. This skill is performed by standing on the high bar facing a low bar, jumping backward into the air, doing a backflip, re-grabbing the bar, and eventually swinging towards the low bar. These days, standing on the bar is prohibited in the code of points because it disrupts the flow of the routine. But Corbett performed this skill numerous times prior to the ban, including at the 1972 Olympics. It was traditionally formed on bars, but some variations are now performed on the beam, which involves performing a back handspring with, with a high flight at the start, and then swinging down to a straddle position on the beam. 2. Quad Series Many gymnasts in the 1980s and early 1990s performed a quad series, which is any series with four elements in a row on a beam. Many gymnasts perform back handsprings and layouts in various orders, with some even combining the quad series with their mount. Gymnasts stopped performing quad series after the 1997 Code of Points changed the rules on what counted as a connection bonus, lowering the value of these skills. As a result of these changes, gymnasts now typically complete three skills in a series rather than four. 3. Thomas Salto It is a rollout skill, which is any skill to which a gymnast adds a half salto and rolls out rather than completing a full flip to their feet. Kurt Thomas inspired the name. Thomas Salto The Thomas Salto is a back salto that has 1.5 flips and 1.5 twists at the end before the gymnast stands up. Rollout skills have been banned in women's gymnastics for some time due to the precision required to avoid neck injury. The ban was imposed after Alina Mukina allegedly broke her neck while performing the skill. On the other hand, men's gymnastics was also banned in the 2017 to 2022 code of points because of safety measures. The skill undeniably requires great accuracy, and we should keep the human error factor in mind. So it was better to rule this skill out of the game to save the lives of gymnasts. What are your thoughts, by the way? Is it a good decision or should it be brought back again? 4. Beating the bar Belly beat is a term that is commonly used for beating the bar. A gymnast swings up from a high stand on the bar and slams their hips into the low bar in this skill. This assists the gymnast in gaining momentum for the next skill. And when executed flawlessly, this painful looking skill does not hurt at all. To perform this skill correctly, the bars must be perfectly set, ensuring that each gymnast hits the correct spot. When wider set bars became the norm, the once popular trend faded. The widened bars give gymnasts more room for flight during the bar-to-bar -bar movement and other moves, but they take away the flowy connected rhythm that many bar routines had in the past. 5. Silivash Mount the Silivash Mount is named after the Romanian gymnast Daniela Silivash and is performed by jumping up to a shoulder stand with legs straddled, then pirouetting the body into a chest stand. Despite the fact that this skill is largely forgotten today, it helped Daniela win the gold medal on the beam at the 1988 Seoul Olympics. Many gymnasts today do not want to take the risk of falling right away because the reward for completing a difficult mount is insufficient. After seeing Alicia Sacramone fall on her mount at the 2008 Beijing Olympics, many teams decided it was safer to get on the beam without risking a fall, and the silly vash and other difficult mounts fell out of favor. So these were the top 5 things that were either banned from gymnastics because of some safety measures or they eventually faded out of style. Now that you have seen these skills as well, which one do you think would have been the most difficult for the gymnast to perform back then? Tell me in the comments section, and if you are new to the channel, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button.